All right, welcome back in, everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a carpet runner. Looks fantastic. I got it pretty straight. It's not perfect, but pretty straight. And I've got a few different floors next to it that you can see how they overlap and kind of what it looks like. And they're floors I don't think just everybody uses all the time. So maybe it's something that is new to you. So we're going to look at these real quick. Uh, first one, we've got palm wood. I don't really care for palm wood as from the top, like looking at it as a floor. I love it from the side. It's right there. I put a little piece there uh, because it's got a really nice scrolling detail. The bottom, I think, looks fine. I'm just not a huge fan of the parquet look. And I also love it as columns. That's what these are over here. As a column. Oh, man, looks great. Even the walls look good. Anyways. And then next we've got Desert... What? Desert Temple Block. I think next to this red, it looks outstanding. I think it just looks really good. It pops. And yeah, I think that, that works for me very well. This also works for me. This is the highly polished stone. And it's this bad boy right there. And... While it has its own kind of borders, uh, I think it's still, I think it still looks really good. Now this one's going to be a surprise to probably everybody because I don't think many people use this. It's this right here. It's this material, and you can see on the top what it does. And this is fancy stone block. It's weird. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I don't want the devs to change it. I think it's awesome that we have a stone material that has its own built-in wood structure. Now, I don't think this looks good next to the the benches for the runner. However, it's just something in there to show you because I don't think many people even know what it looks like. And then this, we're going to move on to refined stone. I don't know that I love this one next to it. Uh, these borders are massive and it kind of looks a little funny. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Then we got copper. So we got a copper block. And finally, well block. Uh, I love well block. I just don't think well block looks great next to the runner. Um, I mean, if you're going for, like, a Christmassy th theme, this is a good way to do red and green. So how we do this is actually so simple. You just take out your stone bench. These cost 20 at the carpenter. And you just line it up. So here, let me set this down. And then I'm going to go over to here. I try to line up this right here. So this line or the other side, it doesn't matter if you're right-handed, left-handed. I just happen to look at it that way. I try to line that up just so that I get the lines very neat. Now. There's two ways you can do this. You can get it, set it to where it just crosses or get it to where it, as soon as it starts to kind of cross itself, that's about where you're going to get it to where you have little to no seam. I did this in kind of a hurry because I'm a little late on this video today getting this made. Um, but you can see I got it here, a couple of pieces I did pretty well, and then some of them have a little bit. But when you're just looking at it, man, it's a really nice runner. Now, what it doesn't do that well is I don't think it works very good as a border. So if I try to like, okay, I'm going to do a little yonder and then I go next to it to do another little yonder. I, I don't love it. Now, someone's going to say, well, put them, glitch them into each other. Well, let's find out because I actually didn't try that when I thought about the, doing this. And let's see if that works. Okay, I, I might have changed my mind. Let's put the last one in. Actually, let's put the last one in as a corner. That'll be a little harder to do. That's not going to work. Well, if there's a wall... Okay, here, I'll show you what I mean. If there's a wall here, I think we can manage it. Line it up just like that. I don't know that I love that. I think it would be better just running down a side. I was going to say, if we put a wall, 
Uh, no, no. We're on palm wood. That's good enough. If we put a wall up against this, it would hide that little bit that stuck out because it, it even clips it a little bit. So I think going along a wall, if you clipped them together to where it's just carpet, carpet, carpet all the way across, it's going to co co consume more of them. But I mean, hell, they only cost 20 a piece. So it's not like 20 stone is nothing. Uh, those of you building out massive underground bases probably have stacks and stacks, a thousand a piece of them. This is another thing I don't like about well block is it has a pretty deep, pretty high. Um, you can see it right there. You see that edge. So you kind of come down when you when you walk over. It. Whereas it's not really the same with the others. But yeah, that's uh, that's my little tip for the day. We've got a, a nice way to do a decent runner if you do better than that little uh, glitch I did there, right there, that little gap. And if you want to do a border along the side, I think it works well if you do them. Oh, I suppose you could do this and do a, a thinner. Ah, yeah, now my brain thinks. All right, now we're going to have to try that. Changing our plans live on the video that's recorded. Okay. So what if we did this as a narrow runner? I think that would help to get rid of your seams. Maybe. Pretty well. I would probably go at least one more. But yeah, so... I think that'd work too. Or even a double outside border before you do your wall, since your wall encroaches a little bit. Yeah, let's put the wall back up. Oh, I can dig that. Oh, yeah. So since the wall encroaches a little bit on it, do a double. That's weird that I keep like, what? It, why am I falling through this? Devs, what's going on? <laughs> whatever anyway so if you want to do a side border i think it works better to do two uh this you're gonna have to play with it a little bit if you want to get it like kind of like these three pieces right here where they're really tight otherwise it kind of ends up with the little gappy stuff like i did really really tedious or run it see what what i don't, I don't understand what's going on <laughs> Early access, folks. Early access. Uh, if you want to do this and run it a vertical pattern, I would do it three or four wide, and then you can actually get some really intricate patterns. Maybe even change it up. Do some some lengthwise, some widthwise, lengthwise, widthwise. You could do some pretty interesting patterns. Anyway, I've run this long enough. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.